Thank you. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, or the Honorable Speaker, the Honorable Members of Nyandarwa County Assembly, good morning. Uh, here, as I stand, I'm Gadungu Kamau, the Chairman for Education and Social Services, and this is where squarely the bill was subjected to. And first and foremost is to appreciate you, His Excellency, the, the Deputy President, for the, de the bold step that you took to save the current and the future generations of Mount Kenya region who had been indulged in drug and alcohol consumption. It was quite a very bold move. And when you did it, you invited all the leaders from Mount Kenya region, starting with the MCS, the MPs, the senators, and you told us that we need to have a very good law which would control the consumption of alcohol, the sale, and the manufacture of alcohol. Uh, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, I'm proud that Nyandarwa County Assembly is the first assembly in Mount Kenya region to pass that bill that you have spearheaded. And this bill, I tell you, it will save the current and the future generations in Mount Kenya region. Uh, the bill, the, previously the bill uh, was prepared in a way that we didn't have the enforcement officers in the bill. And the current bill, through your, through your advice, is that we should involve even the administration so that the enforcement can be smooth. And in this bill, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, we shall have the county commissioner and a chairman who will be vetted by the county assembly to ensure that we get a person of integrity in the, sub, in the county committee. In the sub-county committee, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, we shall have the Deputy County Commissioner and the sub-county administrator, ensuring they are the ones who will give licenses to bar which will operate. That means the law enforcers will not have any escape to say that they are not involved as it has happened previously, and that is why it had become very difficult to fight alcohol at the county level. So we shall work hard in hard with the administration to ensure that happens. And on the same note, we subjected law, the law to uh, the people who we, we went to public participation in all the sub counties, and the people determined the towns or the center beer or alcohol should be sold. And I can assure you, in some of the wards, we have even two towns selling alcohol, and all the honorable members were very cooperative in ensuring that this law will work. So, Your Excellency, the, we also have wines and spirits. The wines and spirits were the only in the fresh because they, could, they were being misused. And Your Excellency, wines and spirits in Nyandarwa County will only be sold at the sub-county headquarters. And in the sub-county headquarters, the sale of wines and spirits will be in wholesale but not in retail as it had been happening previously. In the vehicle, which will be distributing alcohol in the county should be branded so alcohol vehicles should be known. So those are some of the stringent measures that we have taken. And it has been in the row. If you are got transporting alcohol in a vehicle which is not authorized, the county can impound that vehicle. So people will not just transport alcohol just the way that they want. And as well, uh, we looked into the hours which alcohol should be sold, and we agreed that we should start at 4 and then end at 11, so that at least we can, be, we can ensure security of the people. The transportation of alcohol should also start from 8 to 6 p.m., so that it will not be transported at night. So those are the insights that we have in this row. It is good. It will good, be good for our people. And actually, since we have gone wide and far in the county telling the people what the row will entail, I can tell you it has been positively received by the residents of Nyandarwa County. And it is our wish that all the other counties in Mount Kenya region will embrace this row. We are ready even to join them as they make their own laws so that it can work in the entire Mount Kenya region. And also, Your Excellency, we request, even in the neighboring
counties of Mount Kenya region, let them embrace this role because it will save the generations in this country. So, Your Excellency, in Nyandarwa County, now it is upon us, the members, the administration, and the executive to ensure that this role works to the rata, so that at least all which we have encompassed in this role can be implemented as we envisioned. Your Excellency, I would also uh, request the Honorable Member, starting with my Vice Chair, to start because of the support that they gave me in the entire, that is my, my Vice Chair, Honorable Patience Manga, and also the Honorable Members for the Committee of Education, whom we worked together with. We burnt the midnight or Can you kindly stand up? Uh, feel recognized. Feel recognized for the wonderful work that you have done. And also to the Honorable Members of the Nyandarwa County Assembly, feel appreciated. And you, Deputy President, we promise you, you have our support. And also, uh, we would not fear to say, because we are in a political world, that even Nyandaro would like to produce the next president of the Republic of Kenya after Deputy President William Samoy Ruto. Asante Nisana. Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, Your Excellency, Chair Education is member for Ishaupondo. That is in Daragua constituency. And just a brief, Nyandaro has got 25 wards. So 25 elected MCAs and uh, 16 specially elected forming a number of 41. Uh, in that spirit, Your Excellency, for this bill to come to force, save for the education committee, the assembly has got so many components that bring them together, that has made, beside your support, your support to those. That is how it has been enacted. In that spirit, Your Excellency, I'll call the minority leader to say a word touching on the assembly. Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, the Speaker and Honorable Members of the County Assembly, I'm Mwangi Keshoke, representing Engineer Ward and the Minority Leader elected at Ajibri. And Your Excellency, I have three items. One is to first thank you because of the national leadership that we have experienced either in the past or even currently, you have stood clearly in saying and showing that you have respect for grassroots leaders. Your Excellency, you are the first person, I can say that with authority, 